astronomers discover an enormous object orbiting at the edge of our solar system. It's not planet 9 or planet X Nibiru, as we say, but the planetary body astronomers have found at the far edge of our solar system is a notable discovery nonetheless. They've named it Dede, D-E-E-D-E, -E -E, for distant dwarf. And although it was first noticed back in 2016, little information about its physical structure was known back then. But now new data from the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array ALMA uncovered details about Didi, and it's even larger than scientists predicted. The new data reveals that Didi is around two-thirds the size of Ceres, the dwarf planet whose claim to fame is being our asteroid belt's biggest member. Didi also has enough mass to be spherical, so it qualifies as a dwarf planet. Although astronomers have not bestowed that official label upon it just yet, DD, the dwarf planet, rests approximately 92 astronomical units. That's about 137 billion kilometers or 86 billion miles from the Sun. One astronomical unit is a distance between Earth and the Sun's about 92 million miles. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So, from the Sun towards the edge of our solar system, 92 astronomical units. Light from the Sun takes around 13 hours to reach Didi, making it second only to the dwarf planet Eris, in terms of most distant known trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs for short. Now, DD takes around 1,100 years to lap around the Sun once. Seeing and understanding more, finally noticing the, distance, the distant neighbor to the mysterious planet 9, hints at how much is still unknown right here in our own solar system. We need better telescopes, obviously. We do have some going up. Now, we have a few days ago, the Lucy satellite went up to the Jovian planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and to also see those planets and also study the uh, centaur comets and asteroids. Now, uh, far beyond Pluto is a region surprisingly rich with planetary bodies. This is what Lead researcher David Gerdes said in news release from the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, NREO. He says some are quite small, but others have sizes to rival Pluto and could possibly be much larger than Pluto. Okay. Planetary objects like Didi are the best clues to understanding how the planets in our solar system formed, they said. They are remnants from our solar system's past but also a sign of our astronomical future, a future that includes modern technology capable of detecting extremely distant and slow-moving objects at the edge of our solar system. That future is just on the horizon thanks to continued tech advances like bigger telescopes, such as the James Webb Telescope. DD is a perfect example of the rapid pace of this advancement, it was first noticed by researchers at Chile's Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory as part of the Dark Energy Survey, and uh, astronomers at the time were not sure if it was small and very reflective or large and very dark. Follow-up observations from ALMA were able to confirm its unusual size and darkness already. ALMA picked it up fairly easily, Gerda says. We calculated that this object would be incredibly cold, only about 30 degrees Kelvin, just a little above zero, absolute zero. They then confirmed that DD reflected only about 13% of the sunlight that reached it, making it about as bright as a candle at the halfway mark between Earth and the Moon. Yet we still saw it, he said. The discovery of DD heralds more revelations to come, both bright and dark, with all revelation revealing new clues about our mysterious solar system and the universe. This was from Futurism Embedded Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Yes, this is a dwarf planet.